jumper day, so we're going to do a Christmas jumper dance in our Christmas jumpers. few days since we've had a tea brewing chat hasn't it um my jobs for today what am i doing today i am it's shop update day um although by the time this video goes up it won't be shop update day because it will be saturday but it's actually friday today um so i need to get all the photographs done i need to um double check all the listings get everything scheduled to go live at half past seven um and yeah I think that's the main stuff for the shop update. Oh, I want to do a newsletter. I am so bad at getting newsletters out regularly. I try to aim for once a month and I try to be regular with it and I am so rubbish at it. Um, but I wanna try and get a newsletter out before this shop update because this will be the last shop update of the year. So hopefully I can get, yeah, newsletter out about the shop update. I can put some information about next year's clubs in. I can put some information about my end of year sale in and all of that kind of thing. That's kind of the plan. So I need to sit down and do that at some point. I'm also hoping to dye all of the Beatrix Potter club today, the December club today. Um, so I've got yarn in to soak. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done. I don't think I'll get the contrast minis done today because I haven't quite decided what colour they're going to be. I need to skein up the test run I did the other day and try it out with a few minis to make a decision. Um, but that's not too bad. Um, yeah, so I need to get on with it. I am glad it's the weekend tomorrow. I am I'm ready for a weekend. I'm just feeling that lack of motivation this week. I'm ready to just kind of chill out and not have to think about work for a few days. That would be good. I've no idea what we're doing this weekend. I think Arthur's got a birthday party to go to at some point, Saturday or Sunday. It's on the fridge. Sunday, it's got a birthday party to go to on Sunday. Um, so hopefully we can get out for a walk. The weather is meant to be nice, although it's going to be cold, it is meant to be nice over the weekend. Um, so hopefully we can convince the kids to go out for a walk somewhere, because that would be nice. <laughs> really manic day and I have ve I've barely recorded anything for vlogmas it is now quarter to six in the evening and I'm finally getting chance to really pick up my camera I think you've got a few few little snippets of my work day and that's about it um shop update days are always quite chaotic because there's there's always more to do than I expect um, so the newsletter took longer than um, I, I thought it would, which always happens. So really, I should expect it to take longer. Um, but that's all done. Um, the listings are all done. The photographs are all done. I need to go back onto my website and tweak a few things. I like when I have a shop update, I like to try and have everything new that's part of the shop update on the front page um, so that it's all really, really easy to find. Um, 
so I need to go back in and do that and sort out kind of the front page of my website and the collections but most of it I won't be able to do until literally just before half past seven. Um, we've got D&D &D tonight, Dungeons and Dragons, um, so that usually starts about half eight. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to keep an eye on the time <laughs> and at half seven I'll go back onto my website, sort that out, get the kids into bed and then we'll have Dungeons and Dragons. But what I thought I would do, seeing as I've not shared much else today, is do a um, sock drawer tour and show you my hand knit socks. So I am up in my bedroom. Excuse the mess there. They are the Christmas boxes which need to go back up in the attic this weekend and the clothes on top of the Christmas boxes are clothes that need to hang up, they're clean laundry that need to hang up in the wardrobe but I can't get into the wardrobe because the Christmas boxes are still there. <laughs> but they're going back up in the attic this weekend so it's fine, I can I can put up with it for a day. Um, so this is my new unit, um, it's just a Calax but I needed somewhere new to store socks because our chest of drawers is not very big um, and we were fighting for state space in it and I just wanted something quick and easy as a replacement to kind of store socks in. So I picked up a Calax unit, just a little um, two by two and we got the drawer attachments for it. So these two bottom drawers have got socks in, this one's got tights in, this one's got bras in. Uh, one of these has got other knitwear in and one of them's just got random bits and pieces in. Um, but I thought I'd do a sock tour drawer. So here we go. These drawers actually work really nicely for socks. Um, so I've got two rows of full length socks and then this is a row of shorties and slightly less in here. So I've got one whole row of full length socks and then this is a few shorties and then these ones are older socks that are just kind of bed socky kind of ones that I don't quite know what to do with really. Um, somewhere I also have a box which has um, older socks that I don't really wear anymore that I've not quite worked out what to do with. Shall we see if I can remember all the colourways? Lighting's not brilliant in here but we shall see. So we have got um fruitful fusion um i got a birthday party a birthday kind of kit from fruitful fusion then this one is some down sheepy lane it was a halloween colorway um again this was another down sheepy lane christmas self striping that is an old old giddy yarns colorway i always quite liked these ones that kind of micro striped um these ones are um, Kelly at Lay Family Yarn did a Lay Family Yarn and Friends box for a while and it was minis. Um, so these ones I think were minis from Kelly and I can't remember who the collaborator for this one was. It might have been Nora George. Um, then we've got, this is a Lay Family Yarn Crocus colourway. That one is Giddy Yarn's Daisy, color, Daisy Fairy. And then those ones, oh, these are ancient, ancient socks. This is the Love Along pattern. Um, and the yarn was from Peggy Mae Yarns. Very, very ancient socks, those ones. I'm going to have to put them back in properly later. Then we've got, ah, these are my Christmas. So this was the um, history advent I did, Christmas a history um, advent calendar. So this is my yarn. I made a pair of socks out of that advent calendar. Um, then we've got some Golding yarns, we've got some Desert Vista Dye Works yarns that was very kindly gifted to me. This was a collaboration between um, Debbie of Down Sheepy Lane and Vicky of West Green Loft yarns. They did a Pride and Prejudice and Zombies Halloween collaboration. Um, then we've got... Um, oh no, I got it the first one wrong. This is the Fruitful Fusion colourway. This was a Down Sheepy Lane Christmas colourway. I got them wrong. Um, then we've got... Um, this is a... Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember the yarn for this one. It's either Down Sheepy Lane or Lay Family Yarn, but I can't remember. Um, that's one of my Christmas... My Halloween colourways ages ago, Undead zombie themed colourway. Um, that one is 
Oh gosh, I can't remember the colorway for that one. They are a very old pair of socks. The pattern is one of the um, Mina Phillips Knitting Expat New York collection sock patterns, um, but I can't remember the yarn. And then we've got my yarn, um, some scrappy yarn I got in a swap. Um, and that one is, I think, a West Green Lofts yarn. And what else have we got in here? Um, these ones, I love these socks. So this was a Christmas colorway from um, Erin, Henny Penny Makes, and I knit the picnic blanket socks, which I didn't think, when I knit them, I didn't think I would like them as much as I do, but I really like wearing them. I definitely want to knit more pairs of this pattern. Um, it's a Helen Stewart pattern. Then we have, that is a Debbie Down Sheepy Lane Christmas colorway. That one is a... Ooh, what was the yarn? What was the yarn for this one? I have a, I really can't remember who the yarn was for this one. If, nope, I can't remember who the yarn was. Oh, that's dreadful. I'm usually quite good at this. Um, then we have a yarn badger self-striping. Um, we have, these are um, Kate Celine. Um, minis. I made some birthday socks for myself with just random Kate Celine minis. Um, we have got some Christmas socks made out of, um, these are the, ever I think, is it called the evergreen pattern? Um, they are just made out of coop knits. And then the last pair back here are, oh, this was one of my first self-striping colorways, um, Glacier and, yep, my first ever, one of my first ever self-striping colourways. They're an old pair of socks as well. Um, and then we've got, what's that one? That one is a Lay Family yarn colourway. That one's one of mine. Um, Bubblegum Unicorn Cupcake, that was called. And then that one is another Halloween one that I did. Um, Tombstone, I think that was called. And then the ancient ones in here. These socks are really ancient. This was the first ever pair of socks that I knit myself. I used the Hermione's Everyday Pattern by Erica Luda um, and I used some, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of the, Berger de France um, is the, the yarn, some commercial yarn. I still wear these, they're brilliant. And then the second pair of socks I knit with these, this is a, um, a Ro, I've forgotten her name. I want to say Rosemary's Moments, but I'm not sure that's right. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, they are an ancient pair. And I did the same. I did the Hermione's Everyday Pattern, but I didn't put the pattern in. So I just did them plain. And then the final ones, again, another pair of socks. I remember knitting these when Jasper was a baby. Um, these are a Mothy and the Squid colorway. Um, Rainbow Skies. Rainbow Skies Bright or something, I think it was called. It's really effective rainbow striping colorway really really fun so there we go that is my sock tour drawer i am wearing oh look i've dropped the socks on the floor i am wearing hand knit socks today i think what have i got on my feet today i've got some um opal opal um commercial sock yarn i really like these socks you're getting all the flattering angles today <laughs> Um, we are about to start D&D um, &D in a minute, or Dungeons and Dragons, as it's more commonly known. Um, and I thought, fittingly, I should do a D&D &D themed fact of the day. This isn't going to be one that is particularly unknown by any means, but it's always interesting. If you don't know much about Dungeons and Dragons and you're relatively new to it and you've not heard a lot about it over the years, then um, it's quite interesting because D&D really got caught up in the kind of whole satanic panic in the 1980s, which kind of started with the likes of kind of uh, serial killers and stuff. It was very much in America and a little bit in the UK. Um, but with kind of serial killers like Charles Manson and then like the release of the Exorcist film and things like that. Um, and then D&D, &D, which started kind of becoming popular in the 70s, going into the 80s, got really, really caught up in it. And there were a number of organisations set up. Um, there was one known as Bad, um, bothered about D&D. &D. 
um, set up by parents who were worried that their children were basically summoning demons in their basements when they were playing this role play game, which obviously has um, a lot more to do with good triumphing over evil than anything to do with um, summoning demons and things like that. But um, yeah, it got very nearly banned. Um, a lot of parents didn't like their kids playing it and thought that their kids were co it was causing all kinds of trouble um, and things like that, which. When we look at it nowadays, how popular it still is now and how it's a massive, it's like, it's a fantastic thing to do with like creative writing and creativity and even like maths and stuff. Um, it's such a brilliant thing for kids to play as well as, as well as adults. Anyway, we're going to be starting in a minute. Um, but I also thought I would show you quickly, if I could do this without spilling them, all my beautiful dice. One of the best things about D&D &D is all the pretty dice. Tom has the best dice though. He got this in his dice advent calendar. Look at the size of that D20. Whoa.